Hi, this is Lorena from Ink and Lace and today I would like to share with you a little um, filling stitch for these petals. Like you can see, I have two different uh, motifs, um, filling designs on the six petal flower. And I will show you at the moment the second stitch that I made. And I'll explain to you how you how you were able to, to do the first one as well, maybe in another tutorial. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions on um, on threads or how to or what best needle to use or how to create other stitches, please get in touch. So I'll get on with it. Thanks for watching. First, you start with the basic stitches and make sure that you have um, equal numbers. I have at the moment. You can see. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, symbol bars on. You can have up to 18, even 20, depending on the size of your petal. Just make sure that each, um, that it's an even number, okay? So you can do the design. So what you're going to do is start either from the bottom or the top. It doesn't really matter. So you put your needle... If you have a sharp needle like me and not using tapestry needle, please be careful and turn your needle with the ear or the eye up uh, on top and pull it under two threads, okay? When you have it under two threads, put it on the from the right side on behind the needle and pull, okay? And you see like a little eye that is forming. Okay, you keep on going like this with the needle under the two, the, the next following two, two um, base threads. And you continue till you reach the top. So let's do that. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we keep going. Keep going. If you need to and you feel like your thread is going more to the right or to the left, we will fix this at the end, okay? Main thing is that you get the first base right. So remember, always from the right side in this case, we put the thread from the right side, okay? So we take our time and we try to do an even neat job, okay? Now in some cases, just along this is a really beautiful stitch, okay? You can leave it like that if you want. If you feel that that your design is already um, enough, okay? So this could be an, a nice one. If you look closely, they look like um, upside down. No, I'm gonna turn it. Like little sixes, if you follow the loops, okay? So if you uh, you can remember, this could be like the six shape um, motif, okay? Once we reach the end, we anchor the thread into the cord carefully, okay? Now, to create the first double six motif, okay? This one, number one, we turn this work, okay? And we do the same with, we pick up two threads and we go again from the right, okay? And I'm gonna show you just a little bit how it works doing that, okay? You see? And you go back to that one and from the right you create this beautiful motif. But at the moment we're doing the other one, okay? So let me just unravel. And show you what you need to do, okay? So let me just put a thread back on, on the needle. Now, remember me saying it doesn't matter first how, on what side your thread is your middle design is. Now we take our back needle so we don't hurt ourselves and we push in between these two our design more to the right depending on how you're turning your work, okay? You see how easily and neat it's moving? 
And now we take our needle and we go from the other side, okay, moving our thread and looping it on the needle also from the right side, okay. There we go. And again. There we go. Okay. Good. Now, I said, like I said, if you have a sharp needle and you're scared of stabbing yourself all the time, just turn the needle and pull the thread through. Okay. Now, you can see how um, the design actually changes really neatly and very nicely and how it actually differs from the other one even though it's the same um, it's the same concept the only thing that you did different was not moving the base um, the base to the left or to the right we just shift this a little bit to the left if you start from the top okay Now, it's really nice um, to work with um, light colored threads. In this case, I chose a yellow because um, you need to be able to see all the motifs and how you pull the threads. If you work with uh, brown or black, even deep reds or darker greens, uh, I wouldn't recommend it at the beginning if you're not familiar with the, with the design. Okay, now last one. Now this looks more like a twisted braid than the, um, and see the six motif actually disappears. Now you can leave it like this right now or you can go braid in between. I can show you if it's um, popular, I can show you this motif in another um, video, how you can braid in between. So this is basically one flower created with um, one base motif just twisting the thread in a different direction and pushing the the base into the center okay so let me know how you how you like um it's a bit hard at the at the center to pull all the threads to the cords because it has been done repetitively so much for each uh, of the six petals now what i can recommend about this one is that you you start first doing one um, concept of this design. Uh, myself, I started with um, one more anchoring. Myself, I started with um, with the wider motif. Now, before other questions will come, I'm using the embroidery. Um, the embroidery. Um, scissors because it has a curved end so I cannot cut into the um, calico or the, or the threads or the cord. So I started first with these um, with this concept okay and I did three petals so I can get it all done and not get um, mixed up with the second design that I wanted to do. After I finished all three and the cords was hiding in I did the base for this, meaning doing the, um, the double threadings. Make sure that you recount if you really have all doubles area so it can um, so it can look even. And then start using the other concept. Uh, the problem is if you start using, making the first one and you start with the second one, if you're not really familiar with it, you can actually mix it up and then it doesn't look neat, okay? So thanks for watching and thanks for uh, following my YouTube channel. It's getting a, um, it's getting stronger each day. Thank you very much. Um, the reason why I didn't update it for so long videos. Um, first of all, in the last two weeks, we're dealing with weather events. Maybe you heard Brisbane is flooded. We we're lucky enough not to get flooded. Water came close to the house, but not inside. So thank goodness for that. And in the last few months, we're dealing with the coronavirus and we also working on updating a little bit the website. So this is what's happening for the last months. So 
again thanks for sticking around and for watching the videos la revedere bye bye stay strong